Go get a pot, buddy. Sure. Uh, Chuck Taroni. I'm the Conservation Administrator from the Town of Reading. Uh, Susanna Sullivan. I'm with MACC. Jamie O'Connell, Watertown Conservation. Annie Schindler, um, Town of Groveland Conservation Agent and Town Planner. Uh, Claire Rondelli, Natick Conservation Agent and Environmental Planner. Hi, Stacy Carter, Town of Lincoln Conservation Planner. I'm Dominic Portelli, I'm the agent in Framingham. Nancy Lynn, Mass DEP, um, Wetlands, Protect Wetlands Program in Boston. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Nancy Lynn, and I am the outreach and training lead for Mass DEP's Division of Wetlands and Waterways. Um, just to give you a little background, I was actually here in the first round of Wetlands Delineation Training in 1995 and helped organize that. So that really gives you a sense of my age. <laughs> I created the Circuit Rider Program in 1995, just to let you know. I'm a certified professional wetland scientist, and I have also served on the Cambridge Conservation Commission as their conservation administrator prior to coming to DEP. And also I served as a naturalist instructor in New York City and a New York City park ranger which I'm quite proud of because it was really fun. <laughs> so the authors of this new handbook, which was issued actually in March, but published in 2022, is Scott Jackson, Deb Hansen, and David Hilderman, and many other DEP and external folks, including MICC, who helped to review it. This was funded by US EPA Weapons Program Development, in partnership with MACC. This new handbook was developed because wetland science has really changed and evolved in the last 30 years that the first handbook was issued. There is so much more science that actually helps to inform us, and we are striving very hard to align our methodology with the US Army Corps method for delineation under the U.S. Clean Water Act. So, how does this, we also created a new form, a determination form, which is now, we just posted it this past week, that's online and fillable, as well as a hard copy, which you will have in your handout. So what does this do? It aligns it to the greatest extent possible. The form will look very much like the Army Corps uh, determination form. Um, and it allows some flexibility because it is a Massachusetts delineation form and there are some nuances to the Massachusetts regulations and law that we really needed to um, include and defer to. This new, there's a, the approach now is very, very specific. It's a two-parameter and plus approach, meaning in the past, we have emphasized vegetation, hydrophytic vegetation, and we did include hybrid soils as an indicator of hydrology in the 1995 handbook. Now, we really say hybrid soils is almost absolutely critical in most situations. Use hydric soils and vegetation, and hydric soils are, you know, really, really is what we want to emphasize in this particular um, classroom session. The plus has to do with indicate other indicators of hydrology, and depending, and we've actually separated out into their reliability. And Scott's going to talk about that in the next in in his section. He's going to talk about vegetation and hydrology. All right, we've also adopted the federal classification of four vegetative strata. Now in the old handbook, we had five strata, five vegetative strata, but now we are combining the sapling and shrub layer. It clarifies, this particular handbook clarifies how you would use the plants listed in the Weapons Protection Act. As many of you know, you look through the act and there are listed plant species. But we really will talk about how you should use them. 
we also recommend a variable plot size plot or strip transects rather than the small observational plots that we originally recommended in the original handbook. So we have we've adopted the federal hierarchy for vegetation and land analysis, which includes the rapid test, the dominance test, and the prevalence index. And those are options, and Scott will talk about them and how to use them. We've also referenced in this particular guide the 2020 US national list of plant species. Now, just to note that until, even though we've referenced it, we would like applicants to use it when they're using their determination. But at this point, until our regulations, our new regulations are promulgated, that site, the 2020 handbook, in cases where there may be um, conflict with the line, we would recommend that the applicants or the conservation commissions and agents um, ask the applicant to use the 1988 in the likelihood that it might get appealed up to us until the regulations are in, the new regulations are in effect. We categorize, as I mentioned before, the reliability indicators of hydrology. We've simplified the list for the hydric soil indicators. And as I mentioned before, we have a new determination form. And we would love to hear what you think of it and um, if it's, if, if you find any glitches with it, please let us know.